Hey guys, so I gave the girls three options for tea and they chose lasagna, so I am going to make my own version of lasagna anyway. Um, so I'll make a start and I'll show the ingredients. Let's move the oven. Get the top of all that way. There we go. Okay, so we have the beef steak mince. Two bags of beef steak mince from Farm Foods. Mix a bag, uh, half, well, half a bag of mixed frozen vegetables. My lasagna sheets. Grated cheese. Onions. Tomatoes. Garlic puree and tomato puree. Salt. Mixed herbs. Parsley. Garlic powder. And white sauce or lasagna sauce now normally I do make my own bechamel sauce but it takes too long and I just can't afford to do that today so I bought that one from um, Aldi and the pasta sauce from Aldi as well okay so let's move this over the thing I'll do then is I'll put the mixed veg into the pan Great cheese isn't going to be used for a while, and neither is the pasta. Uh, the pasta sheets they can move out the way for a minute. So I'm going to move everything I don't need right now over to the other side, like that. So in the pan by here, I'm going to start adding the purees for the meat when it goes in. Oops. There we go. Couldn't get the lid back on that. And then the tomato puree. Why the lid so hard to get back on that? Uh. Right. Then we set to the back. We then get the frying pan. Put that over there. Turn the pan on for the frying pan because we're going to fry the, the onions. I forgot to get a knife out of the drawer. Keep an onion. Take all of the skin off the onion. If I can get hold of it. The, oh for God's sake, stop breaking off in bits. That's the first one peeled. There's the second. There we go. Yeah, there we are. Finally. That's the two onions. So let's point you down so you can see all I'm doing down by here. There we go. So we're going to cut the onions up into small pieces.
clips. And then we're going to do the same with the tomato. Wrong drawer. Don't fry them up a little bit. where I've got the tomato juice. There we go. So we're going to go back to this. We're going to take some of the sea salt. Four turns. Some of the garlic powder. One, two, three, four, five, six. And some of the Mixed herbs. Yeah, about that much, I'd say. Then we mix together the pastes and the herbs, like this. Turn it into a smooth paste at the bottom. Then we add in the sauce. We mix together what I've done and that tin, that um, pot I mean. Then we add in the fried stuff.
give the uh, give the frying pan a swirl out to ready for the meat. Just like that. Ouch, ouch. Bit my finger. Right. Pop that back, mix those together, and then we put in the bags of mints. Right, do them one bag at a time actually. Okay, put the veg on to cook as well. So while those are cooking, you can get rid of all of the mess off the rooftop of your then. one now, there we go. Keep moving it around as it cooks right through. Carry on cooking for on that side for a bit. Coffee. Right, let's get rid of that tub. Right. Once it's all browned off like that, we add this first batch of meat to the sauce. Yeah. Spoon's going away. Oh, bugger, I just catapulted some of that onto the top. And 
add that to there as well. Mix the first batch in with the sauce as it fully coats the meat. So it looks like that. Get the spilled meat off there and stick it in the doctor bowl for now. There we go. And wait for the second batch of meat to cook. You should also try what you've already done to make sure that there's enough salt and everything in it. So use a clean spoon. Mm. Could use more salt. Technically could use, use more everything but let's just go with more salt for now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And another clean spoon. That's better. Okay, now still waiting for the veg. But the good thing about it is the veg doesn't need to be soft, it can actually be crunchy because you are gonna we are gonna heat it up in the sauce. Plus I rather crunchy veggie anyway. I don't like veg you can suck through a straw. <laughs> Second batch of meat being done. Now it can be poured in as well. There we go. And then mix the other batch meat through with the sauce. Okay, clean spoon. It's not brilliant, it's not brilliant, but it's okay. The 
veggies are just starting to boil now. All those um, all those do while those boil up I'm going to start prepping my lasagna sheets Oops. I'm going to measure to make sure they actually fit in I do have a few little ones I might use this time actually so I'll do a patchwork quilt style with the lasagna sheets. Normally I'd use whole sheets, but I'm, uh, I'm actually running short on the whole sheets. So I'm going to use these bits, because it'll also make it easier for the girls to be able to eat their lasagnas. If they don't have to hack it up. are fit nicely in there so we're going to use the little lasagna sheets the little bits from the last few lasagnas I made and any that I have left over will be put back in the tub for more lasagnas okay put those ones back into my lasagna tub there we go move them to the side and the veggies are now boiled, boiling I should say. So I need my string nut. Get my strainer out. Make space in the sink. directly into the meat. Oops. Splash the water on there. And then we mix that in with our meat as well now. cooking uh, probably on a shorter heat on so turn it down to number three and allow that to boil up just a smidge while I wash while I wipe and put away what I've used stick to the bottom of your pan and then preheat the oven uh, 200 cool okay
go. Right, now that should be ready now. Yep, looks like it's fine. Turn both of the other cookers tops off. <coughs> okay, so we're going to need the parsley in a minute. Everything else can go back out the way. Lasagna sauce one. Lasagna sauce two. And the grated cheese. Okay, so we put one layer of the sauce in the bottom of each of these first. Uh, sorry, the meat and sauce. Make sure we flatten it down as much as we can. So press it down as much as possible. Come a bit closer. There we go. So we press it down as much as we can. Then we move on to the next one for a minute. Just like that. And then we go over the top with white, uh, white sauce. Leave that jar there in a minute. I'll finish that off in a second. I just need to do this one. sheets in here as well. Oops. Doesn't look right. Then more of the more of the meat. I have 
Um, I've got to get my more pasta sheets up because I didn't have enough there. Okay. So, a square piece of pasta sheet, another square piece of pasta sheet. Break that one in half. And take the tip off that one. There we go, perfect. And then lasagna sauce over the top of that one as well. Go in with the grated cheese. The girls like cheese, so I'm going to put lots on. Touch of parsley to the top of the cheese, only a little bit. There we go. Then it goes into the oven. For about 30 minutes I think. 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Okay. So we will be back as soon as that is cooked to show the end result and see if it came out okay. Okay. Timer has gone off. Let's take a look at them. Ouch. Ooh, steamy. Here we go. finished lasagnas. Oops. Okay. Nice and hot, all nice and toasted. There we go. Okay guys, well those are the lasagnas from start to finish. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.